Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. I've got a 430X out here on the bench. Uh, split it open because I want to talk to you about this inner harness right here for your charging system. <clears throat> that would be this double blue wire here. Um, we have a video out from, I don't know, a year or so ago talking about how if you had a problem where your mower wasn't charging to pop the grommet out down at the bottom for your, your charging contacts that are in the nose of the mower. There's the grommet right here, goes up to the bottom, pull that out, and check the plug where it plugs into this inner harness and see if it was melted, you know, if you saw a blister on the side of there or if it was, um, you know, noticed like it was kind of distorted, then you probably had something to do with resistance in one of the wires somewhere. It got hot and that's what was causing your problem. Either the power wasn't getting through or it was shorting out and um, just making it even hotter while it was in there. So a lot of people would, uh, they would pull that plug out and, you know, if it was melted, you would have to break that plug, which is what this is here. You can see where that's just snapped right off there compared to the good one right there. That's a good end. See, there's quite the difference there between the two. So people would pop that out of there and they'd be able to unplug the charging contacts from uh, from this harness. They'd say, well, I don't have to replace this. This is still good. You know, no worries there. I'm just going to replace my charging contacts because they are starting to get corroded from me down to weather. But the issue with this wire is that um, we would run into problems with it actually at the other end as well. Um, <clears throat> that's something that doesn't get talked about a whole lot. When you had the older style mowers, the old 430s, the old 450s, the early 550s that had the blue batteries in them, it was really noticeable in those um, because of the style of the cradle. So like I said, this is a 430, you have the one battery. But where we'd run into a, to an issue with this harness is the second battery would go in here and it would plug into this plug right here. So with the battery being plugged into that plug, you can see it doesn't really leave a whole lot of room for this harness here to go. And uh, what we would get is we would pull some 450s apart, go to start checking some stuff out, and you would have the blue wire rubbing on the corner of the plug for your second battery and just peeling that that insulation back off, um, kind of hard to see that there. There you can see, like, this is one where it just peeled that, that back because it's not the best insulation. I mean, it's, uh, it feels very rubbery, but, um, you know, that, that peeled right off there like nothing. You got another one here I can show you where it just it did the same thing. It just kind of let loose right here. You can see it's almost like a puncture or something. Uh, right there. And that was the same thing. It rubbed against the, the corner of the plug for the uh, the second battery and that's that's what caused that issue there. So you could actually have it where <clears throat> this harness would rub against there, the insulation would get you know messed up. Um, depending on the mowing conditions, you know, if it's like really wet outside or if it's really hot, the mower goes into the charging station, this wire is getting really hot, the rest of the mower is not as hot, you can get start, you can start to get condensation forming in here or in the wire inside the insulation at least, and um, that's where your corrosion would start to come from. It would actually start back there, but you had you had the power from your charging station trying to push through the contacts. You know, come the power's coming in here from your charging station going into this plug here, which plugs into this plug, as I said, at the other end of this harness so if your your resistance is back here and your corrosion is back there this could still be the weakest point between um where your power is coming in and that corrosion so if this wasn't fitting tight or the wire wasn't in that plug just right you know it start to get hot here because you know think of it as like a drain being clogged up you know the water would run to here that'd be your power coming the whole way through to here but it just couldn't get through there so it would start to get hot here first because this is the closest to the power source. And then you would also end up with uh, an issue back there. But um, it's possible that that's what would cause some of the issues with, with these, uh, these connectors up here. So the, the big thing is that it was getting missed because people would just look at this connector out here at this end and not open the mower up and see that end back there. Uh, we encourage anybody, if you're replacing this harness right here, your charging contacts with the nose of the mower, split the mower up and replace this one too you know just do them both at the same time that way you know that you've got good connections um up here and at your main board and you're not taking a chance of, of doing anything to harm your batteries 
And speaking of batteries, also when you go to replace your batteries, like in the case of this one here, where it has the old blue style batteries and you're going to the new style, you got the mower apart already, you're spending all that money on the batteries, spend a couple more dollars and update this harness too, because there's a new version of this out here. And that's really the main reason why I'm making this video, because um, on our website, we have this, this harness right here, the double blue wired harness pictured because we want it to be easy for people to say, oh man, this is the this is the part right here that's the problem. Oh, there it is. This is the picture, you know, that matches up with it. Uh, but when we would send the new harness out, this is actually the, the latest version of that. It's a blue wire and a brown wire. And, you know, some people would email us or call us and say, I think you sent me the wrong thing. This is blue and brown. It doesn't seem like it's as heavy as the old one. Um, you know, can I use this? Or was there an issue that where you, you pulled the wrong part? No, this is it. Um, last year they actually had these for a while. They were blue and yellow. I think they were blue and silver for a while. But yeah, blue and brown is the, the current version. They've been using the blue and brown for uh, a good while now. So I guess they're going to stick with that. And hopefully they do. Because another issue with the uh, double blue wire is it's plugged into your charging contacts. And you're going to start testing stuff. And it's like, all right, one side of this is positive. One side is negative. So which one's positive and which one's negative back here where these two wires are the same color? Made it a little bit confusing for some people. So now when you have the blue and brown wire here on your charging contacts and that harness and you plug this one in and it's also a blue and brown wire and it makes it easier to follow one side positive, one side negative going back through. And you're saying... <laughs> One's blue and one's brown. How, do we, how are we going to tell which one's positive and which one's negative? It's not black and red. If you're like me and you grew up in the 90s, there was, a, uh, there was a song by a group called the Kenny Wayne Shepherd Band. Blue on black. That's all you got to remember. Blue on black. Ground, black, on the blue one. The blue is negative. The brown is the positive. So blue on black. Kenny Wayne Shepherd Band. Just remember that one. Recently redone by uh, Five Finger Death Punch. But... Good tune. The Kenny Wayne Shepherd band version uh, is a really cool one. Bluesy song. Blue and black. Check it out if you ever heard that one. Uh, so yeah, a lot of a lot of benefits to replacing this inner harness with the uh, the new style harness, the the uh, brown and blue one here. It's a better wire. It's better insulation. It's going to hold up better. It's going to eliminate uh, a lot of the possibilities of, of corrosion buildup. Um, and again, like I said, you have you have one blue, you have one brown. It's easier to follow back through for testing. So when you have your mower apart, for all the more that this costs, if it's in stock, you know, and you see it's available, go ahead and order it. Add it to your parts order. Throw it in there. That way you can say, okay, I've got everything good to go inside this mower. Don't have to open it up again anytime soon for anything to do with my charging system or my batteries. Uh, you got that peace of mind, that security. So uh, definitely worth it. Uh, I think that's going to be it. That's about all I've got. You know, if you're wondering, does my mower have this double blue harness in here? Just pop that grommet out the front where your charging contacts go down through and, and plug in. Just pop that out, pull it out. You'll be able to tell if you got two blue wires together there or if you got the, the blue and brown. Or like I said, they were using blue and yellow for a while, blue and silver for a while. Um, if you have this one, like I said, next time you're ordering some parts, you're going to take your mower apart. Add it to your order. Replace it while you got it apart. That way, you know that it's been it's been updated. You got the latest and greatest in there. Also, I don't know if you noticed this or not, because this has been updated for a while now. This harness here, your, your charging contacts for the nose of the mower. They actually have a it has a heavier duty grommet on there, and it's um, the blue and the brown wire is more like this blue and brown wire, and not that uh, the old wire, which was more like this wire here to use this double blue harness so again better wire better grommet better option um if you're you're upgrading some of the uh stuff on your mower again this is a good one to update because you don't want to have issues with your batteries and uh wires burning up because you have the old style um harness in there and the old style contacts that have corrosion and just stopping the power going through and getting hot here and there uh, if you do have the old ones in there you know it's a good idea to take Take these contacts apart where the screws go in here and the wires fasten to the plates. Make sure to clean that up. Make sure you got good continuity from from out here where it touches the, the charging station to this this plug right here. Make sure everything's 
good there. Uh, do a resistance check on that. We got a video explaining how to do all that stuff too. You can find that on our channel here. So I guess that's going to do it for this this video. Um, if you want to purchase this new harness for inside here, or really any other parts for inside your automower, or purchase an automower itself, or accessories for an automower, go to our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. That's a place to start. If you don't find what you're looking for there, you can send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, or send us a message right through the website. Again, I, I beg you to just bear with us because when it is the busy time of the year, we get hammered like you would not believe with emails for tech support, uh, parts, and anything to do with automowers. <laughs> um, so bear with us. If we don't get back to you within a couple days, send us another email or send us a try to reach out to us in a different way. You know, if you send us an email when you get back to you, send us a message through the website or vice versa. Uh, we're doing everything we can to try to help as many people as possible, but there's only so many hours in a day. Uh, so again, bear with us. That's why we do these videos here to kind of make it easier for you guys to um, go out and do repairs and upgrades like this on your own without having to contact us and ask what's going on. So hopefully this is helping a lot of you guys. But again, um, feel free to reach out. Just don't get upset when we can't get back to you immediately um, or if somehow your, your email or whatever gets lost in a spam folder or something like that. You know, we're, we're only human here. So <laughs> work with us and we'll work with you. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.